All right. I'm going to explain my suspension and the way my suspension is going to work. Most of you might know what this is. I'm going to explain it right now. All right. What this is, is this is a levelizer valve for a big truck or a big truck trailer. The way that it works is as long as this stays at a level spot, okay, it won't emit any air. Then, if the suspension moves, it'll either add air or release air accordingly. Uh, they have a system out there that's electronic that works on this. I'm sure a lot of you guys know uh, what that is. It's, it's, it's pretty expensive for some of us cheaper guys. But what this does is it'll work just like that. Okay, As the suspension moves, it'll add and, and subtract air from the bags. And this is what I'm going to use. Mine is going to be set at a ride height, no more than three inches off the ground. So in that way, when I'm riding along and it moves, it'll adjust it and keep my truck three inches off the ground on all four corners. I'm going to use four of these on all four corners of my suspension to keep it level. I'm not going to be dragging my truck. Okay, like I said, I'm not going to be dragging my truck. I have a CDL license and that's my life. My life is driving and if I lose my license because of dragging or whatever and I can't afford to pay you know, anywhere from a three to $5,000 ticket. So therefore, I'm not going to drag. My truck's going to have a ride height that is set. When I get stopped, I'll have a valve, I'll be able to release the air from all of these valves. Okay, once I release the air, there, there won't be a supply to these, which will allow my truck to go ahead and drop all the way back down. When I go ahead and turn the valve on, it'll add air, and it'll bring my truck back up to ride height, like that. Okay, and then that way I'll be able to go down the road and do whatever I'm going to do. I'm not going to have a, a air pressure regulator. I'm not going to have a pressure switch for my tank, which a pressure switch, it's an electronic pressure switch that turns your compressor on and off. Okay, I'm not going to have that. I'm going to have a manual switch on my dash. I'm going to have one gauge that will show me the amount of air pressure that's in my tank. So I'll be able to flip my button on, fill it up to where I want, flip my button off. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to have pretty much all, all uh, manual stuff. I'm not going to have very much electronic in my air ride system. I'm going to try and show you guys how to build the cheapest air ride setup I possibly can because I don't have a lot of money and I know a lot of you don't have a lot of money so therefore we got to find a way to be able to have an air ride be able to get into the scene and have a good time with our friends on a very cheap budget so I find scrap metal I find cheap some, uh, 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 cheap prices on metal that way I can okay look over here this is a piece of metal that uh, a friend of mine acquired, and uh, I have a bunch of these. He had a bunch of these. I went ahead and bought them from them. This, I can make my uh, my uh, link ends. I can make my bag mounts. I can make everything out of this, okay? I may have to go down and buy some 2x4 uh, box metal. I might have to go down and buy some 2x4 metal, some 2x2 uh, two two metal. But it's going to be fairly cheap. Uh, you're going to go with 3 8 thick wall and 2x2 uh, two two and 2x4s. Two 2x4s fours. Two, two fours for the frame. One of the last things I want to explain is that I'm going to build mine on 20s. I have to save up to buy my 20s. I'm probably going to get the same rims that my wife has, just with a different offset so that they fit my truck. Uh, different size wheels so they fit my truck. Uh, I'm going to do a reverse 4-link. I'll show you what that is. Uh, it's fairly simple. It, it was on my first bag truck, so and I don't want to move my tank. I'm not going to be dragging, so therefore I don't have to really raise my tank up any higher than uh, what it is. And I'm not going to do anything special with the bed. And I'm not doing anything special with the truck. I'm not going to change the appearance of it. I'm not going to change the dash or interior. It's going to be a stock truck, which a lot of guys are starting to do that now. And I don't have the money to make it, you know, this fabulous trophy winning truck. I just want my toy. I want my functional truck so I can have a good time with it. So hopefully I covered everything. If you guys have any questions, any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, rate my video, you know, click that thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. And uh, we'll see if we can get through this build as quickly as possible. I would love to do this in three and a half months because that's there's a car show named Slamily 
that's in Fort Smith, Arkansas. I'd really like to be able to cruise my truck out that way. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Like I said, comment, subscribe, give me some thumbs up, and uh, let's make this build happen. See you guys next time.